going up by the interest revenue. Last one we have here, and we're going to say that uh, write off P company account against allowance for doubtful account. So now we're going to say P company we just basically gave up on. We don't think that we're going to get paid. Maybe they went bankrupt or something like that. And if we scroll over, we're going to say here's P company in the receivable. So receivable here. Here's P company. We, we didn't give P company extension. We said we just gave up on P company. We don't think they're going to pay us. We're not going to make up a loan payment for them because we think it's just unlikely we're going to get paid. Therefore, we're writing them off and we're not doing business with them again. So um, unless, you know, something happened, I don't know. We're not going to. So we're going to write them off in any case. So this this amount is in the receivable. Instead of transferring it to a note receivable, we're just going to write it off to the allowance for doubtful account. Assume and we're using here, of course, the allowance method, which has this allowance for doubtful accounts. So in other words, this account no, accounts receivable needs to go down and we're going to put these other half into the allowance. So accounts receivable has a debit balance. We're going to do the opposite thing to it, which is a credit. And I believe the date here that we need to use is 12 one, 12 one. Let's make sure I'm getting lazy in the last part here. 12 one. Yeah, that's right. That's the one. So accounts receivable has a debit balance. We're going to make it go down doing the opposite thing to it, a credit. So I'm going to right click and copy S6. I'm going to put that on the bottom of the journal entry in O20, right click and paste. One, two, three. I'm going to indent that, home tab, alignment, increase indenting. And we're going to put the amount that is owed to us by, uh, who, who is this? Oh, the, by P Company, P Company. So thanks for reminding me, P Company. So we're gonna put that in the credit side, Q20. We're gonna put negative 3800. Then we're gonna debit something, so we are in P19. I'm gonna do that with a formula by saying negative of that number and enter. And the debit will not go to a note receivable this time, but writing it off to the allowance. We're not putting it to bad debt expense. Note that would be what we do under a direct write-off method. We're using the allowance method and an allowance already having been set up and we're just going to write it off there so we're going to right click and copy scrolling back down and we'll, we'll talk a lot more about allowance method in the allowance method portion of the accounts receivable as well so o20 right click and paste one two three so now we'll just post this one out allowance first so here's the allowance here it is on the trial balance we are in u7 we're going to say equals and go down and point to that 3,800 and enter. So that brings the balance down in the allowance account. Uh, it actually flips it and that's, that, that's fine. We'll talk about that later. So we're going to go to the uh, 